Today, the FDA is taking action to update the label on acetaminophen and sending a letter to all US doctors letting them know about the risks in pregnancy. We now have data we cannot ignore. There's a very large study, the Boston Birth Cohort, with researchers that have, uh, from Johns Hopkins, my former institution, and Boston University, found, quote unquote, consistent associations between acetaminophen in pregnancy and autism. And the Nurses' Health Study, with researchers from Yale, Columbia, and Harvard looking at 9,000 kids, found that acetaminophen use in pregnancy was associated with neurodevelopmental disorders. And four weeks ago, a Mount Sinai Harvard study reviewed all the existing literature and found the overwhelming body of evidence points to an association. Sure, you'll be able to find a study to the contrary, that's how science works, but to quote the dean of the Harvard School of Public Health, there is a causal relationship between prenatal acetaminophen use and neurodevelopmental disorders of ADHD and autism spectrum disorder. We cannot wait any longer. And honestly, there's been this perfunctory, reactionary, uh, mindless practice in medicine. I learned it in medical school and residency. Just treat all fevers, low-grade fevers, treat them with the acetaminophen. Why? What are we doing? A study out of Hopkins actually showed that treating a fever can prolong the duration of illness in a young kid. Maybe that's because a fever is a body's natural way of ridding an infection. When my wife was pregnant and delivered our son a few months ago, they pushed her to take acetaminophen for a low-grade fever.